My name is Andrea with Foodimentary Adventures in Food. In my household, there's me, my husband, and our adorable two-year-old little boy. On our channel, you'll find simple and tasty dinners using everyday ingredients. So for dinner tonight, I am using up some stuff from our freezer and refrigerator. So in my freezer, I had a package of the smoked sausage. I'm gonna slice it up. And then um, in my bowl here, I have some stuff from my fridge. I have some Brussels sprouts, some yellow and um, orange pepper. And then I also have a white onion in there as well. And it's all chopped up. So what I'm going to do is toss my meat and the vegetables with a little bit of grapeseed oil. And then I'm going to use one package of this um, savory herb with garlic mix, seasoning mix. And I am just going to bake it. So... I'll be back. Okay, so here's our dinner. I cooked this on 400 for about half an hour, 35 minutes or so. And then I am just serving it over some white rice. It is a little salty, so you do need some rice or something to kind of cut that salt because you've got the sausage, which has salt, and then of course that um, Lipton onion soup mix as well. So this is what we are having for dinner tonight, and we will see y'all next time. So for dinner tonight, we are eating from our freezer. In my freezer, I have this bag of uh, just bare, lightly breaded chicken breast chunks that I got from Costco a while ago. Never tried them until today. And as you can see, they kind of look like Chick-fil-A chicken nuggets, but um, they don't taste like it, but they are very, very good. Much better than the ones from Sam's Club, the Members Mark. They, to me, the Members Mark, um, chicken breast chunks kind of have a pickly taste to them, and these do not. These are, to me, far superior than those um, from Sam's Club. So I would definitely buy these again. I just cooked them in my air fryer, and then I am serving them on top of this Caesar salad kit. I just prepared the salad in a large bowl, and then I divvied it up for um, Howard and myself, and then I had some breadsticks in the freezer that needed to be used too, so pop those in the air fryer as well. So this is what we are having for dinner tonight and we will see y'all next time. So for dinner tonight, we are having taco salads. I have the shells in my freezer. If you've been with our channel for a while, you know how much I love these Azteca taco shells. Here is what the box looks like. I have seen these at Kroger and Walmart, but they're hard to find in my area. If um, Whenever I find them, I just put them in my freezer and they are absolutely fine. You just bake them in the oven. They come with a former and they taste like a, um, like a fried taco shell. They are very good. This is mine and I've got lettuce on the bottom. I've got the taco meat, cheese, and salsa. And then this is Howard's. He has meat on the bottom. And then he has lettuce, cheese, avocado, uh, salsa, and sour cream. So this is what we are having for dinner tonight and we will see y'all next time. So I'm trying out a new recipe for dinner tonight. And of course I'll make sure to leave the recipe in the description box. But I'm just adding some cooked spaghetti to my pan. In my pan I have tomatoes, I have um, bell pepper, I have onions, garlic, smoked paprika, red chili peppers as well. And I also had some chicken broth and I'm just adding in my pasta. Next, I'm gonna add in my cooked shrimp. It's actually not cooked all the way because um, it's gonna continue to cook in the pan. But all I did was season the shrimp with this Tony Sasseries. And next, I'm just adding in some baby spinach and I'm just going to let it all wilt. Okay, so here is everything all plated up. I did add some more salt to it once I added the shrimp and the, um, and the spinach. Um, and it is really good. It has a, a nice flavor to it. On the side, I am serving just a croissant. These are from Trader Joe's. Y'all know how much I love these croissants if you've been with this for a while. I do let mine proof um, first. So I let it proof all day long and it just makes it lighter and fluffier. I did not add the entire bag of spinach. I think it was a six or eight ounce bag. I only added about half and I forgot how much spinach shrinks down. So I could have actually added that whole bag of spinach. 
But yeah, this definitely is a winner. Very tasty. So this is what we are having for dinner tonight and we will see y'all next time. So for dinner tonight, Howard and I are at a restaurant called Cheddar's. This is Howard's plate. He has the New Orleans pasta and it has shrimp and what else? Chicken and sausage, I think. With some garlic bread. And this is my plate. I have a chicken fried steak, mashed potatoes with gravy and green beans. And then Harrison's just gonna eat uh, what he wants to eat. So this is what we are having for dinner tonight and we will see y'all next time.